Hello friends, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Nika. My channel is all about lifestyle, home decor, and a little sprinkle of DIYs here and there, but I um, am about two weeks into building my like hopefully forever home. Um, I built with Ryan Homes, I built their Versailles plan, and although we went with a production builder, the overall goal is to make this house as custom as possible. So um, what you'll be getting from me are these new home updates. And like I said, some um, home decor and, and, and all of that good stuff. But anyway, if you're returning, thank you all so much uh, for being a part of the growth of my channel. Um, it's, it's growing um, at a much faster rate than I anticipated, but it's not my plan, it's God's plan. Anywho, uh, it's been about four days since the last update and quite a bit has happened. So I'm super duper excited to share with you all what I've been working on and some of the home decor updates that's taken place. But again, I am truly thankful for all of you all for being on this journey with me. Um, you know, if there's anything that you all would like to see more from me, um, any lifestyle related content, just feel free to go ahead and let me know um, in the comments and we can get some going but thank you all so much for tuning in and i am back so for today's update i'm starting outside um so getting the deck material delivered so that's about to start soon i'm super excited um but i just want to show you all the yard the grass is settling in the sod is looking great few brown spots but hopefully they come together it's just a few like right here um, and I've been watering them. However, I am a little mad about the situation of these little trees that are in the flower bed. I followed up with um, my project manager to see if they're covered under a warranty as they should be because we've been here for what, two weeks now and they were starting to turn brown when we moved in. So I need something done. So hopefully I get a response um, soon. Um, but if not, I'll, I'll escalate it. Um, but anyway, I potted these hostas um, because someone was mentioning in the Ryan Homes group on Facebook that it could be that the soil is bad here. So I love hostas. I think they look great in the pot, but eventually I'll transfer them to the ground. I just do not want to put them in the ground um, with bad soil. Um, ignore the, that little brown stuff. That's like stuff that kills bugs. So we had a um, pest control service to start that we'll be doing um, every other month, but it's just gonna take care of mosquitoes and spiders, everything that I hate. Um, but like I said, I don't have a green thumb and you know, I was intentional about caring for the plants and the, the trees or whatever. I did my part, but it just seems like I was either, either delivered uh, dead plants or I, I don't know what the situation is, but these are the rose bushes. They're coming back to life, um, but yeah. And then on this side, the trees are looking dead as well, except for the two on the end, but the front ones are good. And then I purchased this little plant here. I haven't decided where I'm gonna put it at, but it's budding already from yesterday. I just purchased it yesterday. But just wanted to show you all outside. I don't know if I've ever given you all a good glimpse of um, the chairs on the porch now i feel comfortable enough to sit out on the porch at first it was way too many bugs for me all right so quite a few updates of course the house is not 100 percent together but some progress is being made um so the chandeliers were installed yesterday um and they look amazing we just need to put bulbs in them but i feel like it's really giving the room um the glam effect that i was going for uh, we're still waiting on a gold bar cart um, then I did put down this um, rug here, but um, also I purchased two gold mirrors to go on that wall, as I mentioned. However, I have a change of heart because those things are way too heavy and I just feel like if I hang it, that side of the house is going to fall <laughs> down. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm figuring out something different. Um, but here is the formal dining room, of course. So Last time, I think it was plenty of boxes right here. So we're slowly but surely putting things away, throwing things, throwing the boxes out or whatever. Um, but this is the di formal dining room. And for those of you all who are new, um, th these are the lights, the pug lights that were in the wine lounge ceiling. I'm just saving them for future use if I ever 
need them somewhere else. But these are um, some centerpieces that I created on my own. Um, and so I purchased all the material from at home. And then this piece in the middle, this flower arrangement, it's by way of my favorite store, Hobby Lobby. So this is like a pub set, another chill area. And then here is the buffet hutch slash server. Um, I will now show you all the bathroom that's down here. So as I mentioned, I've gone ahead and added this wall art to kind of match the bedroom. And then I put this sign up, put that little plant there. So don't really wanna do much, too much, cause it's not a big space. But this is the downstairs bedroom. Still coming along. Now, I do have new chairs on the way. Um, if you saw my last vlog, you know that the legs were chipped. And so they told me that the stain of that wood is now discontinued. So I have to actually go into the store later on today to select the um, new wood finish that I would like. I also put this rug down. Um, not too sure if I'm feeling it, but it's staying for now. <laughs> um, and then here is the great room. So I have two accent chairs. I've also added these coffee, not coffee tables, end tables. Um, I had these at the old house and I was certain, I was looking for um, coffee tables and end tables. And I was like, you know what? I can use what I already have since I'm going with the grays, the browns and ivories for this room. So I think they work perfectly for now. We'll probably update later, but upgrade later, but for now it'll do. So I have one right here. I just need to put either a plant or a lamp, something right there. Um, and then, like I said, I probably will switch out these brown pillows as well as this wall art up here. Cause I, yeah, I'm not vibing with it anymore now that the furniture is here. This is my egg chair. That's actually for outdoor use, but you know, I want it kind of like a boho little, you know, razzle dazzle. So that's what that's giving me. Um, this is what I got from Hobby Lobby. I put together, just added a random little plant there and also a flower. So I probably won't do much more because I don't like too much clutter, but someone mentioned that they wanted to see this rug that's underneath the dinette set a little closer. So it's like a wicker type rug. Um, and then this is the centerpiece. So this is actually a picture of me. Actually, I took this picture a year ago today. It's my maternity picture. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I just found it in a box. <laughs> but guys, look, 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 look. My office nook is coming together. Actually today, some additional stuff is supposed to arrive, like my file cabinet, stuff like that. But all of this was designed by way of uh, Burlington and at home, I was about to get it mixed up. And some a few pieces from Ross, but I just have to put a little plan up there, something down here. But that was my little baby, his first Christmas. And then this is from our wedding. But yeah, I love it so far. I told you all that I might do a hint of cheetah, but I just, I didn't find, I found some stuff, but I ain't found what I was looking for. Um, so yeah, but. Yeah, this is my little planner. This is my Boss Babes monthly planner that I actually created and I sell on my Amazon store. So be sure to check that out. I'll leave a link down below. But yeah. And by the way, that planner is for 2021 and 2022. So can still get good use out of it. But don't y'all like it? It's like giving me all types of boss chick you know, feminine vibes, but that's what I was going for. You know, I'm like, I work from home. I just want a space that I really like looking at, even though I don't sit here all day, but, and then I actually got this from, uh, I want to say Hobby Lobby. It says gold, not gold digger. So that's that. So here is the great room from up top. Can see it the sun isn't hidden right now so I apologize if it's a little dark I hung these two pictures on the wall and then I know I mentioned that 
I wanted white bedding in here. Tried it out, wasn't feeling it. Don't know if I'm feeling this quite yet, but guess what? It's gonna stay right here for a while. Um, but put a little plant over there. So I got the white, the gold slash yellow black thing going here. And then of course the curtains are ombre. I also have a chase coming right here. So stay tuned, it'll be black. But see how I decorate it. <laughs> This bathroom is still the same. <laughs> actually, I added that tile, but it'll be decorated differently. So I actually decided that instead of doing like just white, um, it'll still, I still wanted to do beach theme originally, but I was thinking about doing like a white shower curtain, but it'll be totally beach theme. But this room, still junk room, living up to its name. This is the man cave slash media room. It's still furnitureless. Um, hopefully, I'm selling our old couch. I, we decided I'll put it on Facebook Marketplace. It's just very um, saddening because I paid a lot of money for that couch. And it's very good quality furniture. And it just sucks that we can't put it in here. Like, it's literally not even two years old. And in our old house, it was in the room downstairs in a basement. And like, no one hardly ever sat on it. So. Really hasn't been used much, so I'm hoping I can get <laughs> some money back out of it <laughs> after all we paid for it. So um, Ashton's room is coming together. As you all can see, Cash the giraffe is chilling by the window. I've hung his curtains, so they're ombre. They start off as yellow, go to gray. Um, I put these pieces on the wall um, temporarily. The, yeah, it'll, it'll change, but Ashton has a lot of room that we can do stuff with. But I ordered him, because we had this little thing. <laughs> that looks cheap but I ordered him a dresser and a chest and all of that so hopefully that'll come soon and then here is his bathroom so here's the shower curtain let me show you all that I ordered that's like safari themed so it's coming together it's not yet complete but we making progress and that's all that matters that's what I keep telling myself <laughs> But here is the owner suite, guys. Okay, so this, okay, let me let me just give y'all a backstory. So originally I had a fandelier. Um, and when I took it out the box, the finish of gold was not what I thought it would be. So yeah, but this I, I love it. I think it's perfect. It's a dimmable ceiling fan light. Um, it's giving me the vibes I want it to give, and the gold is perfect for. The overall look I'm going for for this room. And guess what, y'all? It is an Amazon find. So this is the brightest that it'll go. That's the second brightest. And then that's the lowest level of light it'll go. But I love it. Um, we, I don't know what's the deal with our um, end tables and, I mean, not end tables, our nightstands and then this dresser that's supposed to go over here that's similar to this one, like it just keeps getting delayed. And I'm almost to the point where I want to say, give me my money back and we about to find something else. But um, the original chair that I wanted over here, I don't know why I thought that this space was much smaller, but we did measurements. And so I just feel like it would be too small. So we're rethinking it. I'm actually looking at some really cute modern like sectionals. And I know y'all probably like, why are you putting a sectional in the bedroom? Listen, I like space and I want different spaces that I can resort to when needed. <laughs> and I like things to be pretty. So just stay tuned. Hopefully in the coming weeks, that'll be done. But that is all for today, my friends. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a great weekend.